Legend of Total War here with part 17 of my Total War Warhammer iPhone I Let's Play campaign as the Beastman. Now, in the previous episode at the end of it, I did say it felt like I was coming down with a cold, which it seems like I have. Um, that being said, it's so fucking minor that it's, I'm not even going to let it bother me. So, yeah, it's the next day. Let's just keep going. So you might hear me sniffle a bit, maybe cough or sneeze once or twice, but don't be concerned. It's nothing. I don't let anything fucking rid me to bed. Okay, let's see. I think I'm at the end of the turn here, by the looks of it. Um, unless these guys haven't actually moved yet. No, they haven't actually moved. Okay, cool. So next moon... Oh, that's right. We've got um, Endless Herd going on. So we've got to be very careful with what we're doing. Like, I want to keep moving. I think we just destroyed one of their armies. That's right. That's what we're doing. So, um... Any damage taken to these guys can be recruited in one turn. I'm going to be very careful to preserve the, uh, the Centigors, though. And the, um, the Cycles, because they can't be replaced in a single turn. Okay, looks like we can just hit Flash Furt. Well then, let's do that. So the reason we're coming around over here to, uh, to smash them up is because they have sent just this massive goddamn army it's not quite as massive as it was before chasing after these guys which is fine we've lured their armies over here and then we took Kazrak and the other guy all the way over here to go destroy their territory which is now pretty much undefended so it's all just worked out very nicely for us we've got more money than ever because we're destroying them because um, anyway if we manage to take away all their territory from them they'll just I mean they're taking attrition now but they'll take it so much worse okay so this has got walls here I don't need uh, Kazrak in this one this one's got three cycles I'd probably be better just with that so I don't need um yeah yeah I want to fight it manually because we've got to keep our casualties down Because with the uh, plus 100% buff to AI mod, even when the odds are in your favor, sometimes the, you know, you essentially take twice as many ca casualties as you would um, if it was without any mods. And it seems like people are enjoying it, apart from those who, those fuckwits that came from Reddit, saw that Devolve was overpowered and then were like, you're perpetuating the cheese culture. Oh, fuck off. Please don't post my videos to Reddit. I just, I just don't like those people. Just, I want them to go away and die. Some people have said to me stuff like, um, "Oh, you should try this and this to increase your subscriber base." I don't know if I want to increase my subscriber base. To be honest, I think I'm quite content with the subscribers I have. Like I said, I'm not not doing this to be rich and famous. I mean, that's, that's a bonus, but I'd rather be happy with what I'm doing, and I don't want subscribers that I don't want, and I don't want Reddit fuckwits. Forum-dwelling, cunt-sniffing bastards. All right, let's get started. All right, now you guys need to get a little bit behind here. We want to summon a Cygor. I don't know if you've got that ability. Yeah, you would, because this is one of the professional armies. Just need to wait for one extra magic. So yeah, this girl will take a bit of damage, but the thing is, like, even if he gets wiped out, just recruit one, it only takes one turn, it's okay. That's why, that's why I recruited these instead of Beastigals, because these are, they're good units and they're very easily replaceable. 
I mean, sure, I could have a couple of Beastie Gores in there, but, you know, they're, they're quite a step up in, in cost, and I'd rather have lots of these than a handful of Beastie Gores, because when this guy gets to level 18, for example, he's just going to boost their strength by so much, and doesn't do it for Beastie Gores. So Beastie Gores would be would be better, I suppose, on online battles, like... They're basically black, black Orcs, it's just that there's not much to upgrade them in the campaign. Ah, oh, you piece of shit. Fucking tree in the way there. So just in case you realise, I've got like, hide foliage off, because I don't give a fuck about whether the trees have leaves or not. It just allows a greater visibility, like if I was to turn it back on. You see what I mean? I like to see what I'm doing. Hey. You gotta lock it. Okay. So that's done, we lost about a third of those guys, that's alright. No need to destroy this. Let's go into this. I really, really enjoy watching these rocks just pummel into these fuckers. It just hasn't gotten old yet. You know, when I first saw the Beastmen, I was like, oh, I don't know if I like these guys. But they're growing on me. Then again, the... CA will be like, oh, what people are enjoying the Beastmen? Oh, let's put a patch in there to make them no fun anymore. Let's nerf everything. Great. You know, having overpowered units makes the game fun. If everything is, like, exactly the same, then... Just, I don't know. Like, what's the point? Like, why would I bother getting powerful units if they're just as good as fucking Ungors? Oh, but Legend, they look better. Fuck off, you, you vain piece of shit. So, still no nerfing on this just yet. Wait, I overcasted that, didn't I? Yeah, it's alright. That was delicious. Still got 56 power reserve. We're good. Yeah, so that one there's got 82 kills, so he's done well. I kind of wish like they would, they didn't destroy this wall because now that they've destroyed, it, they're getting off the walls. I can't tell them to fire at will, they're not like mortars or anything, I can't get the shots over here. I mean, we can try, but I don't, don't think they'll shoot from there. I don't think they'll hit. Oh, hang on, hang on. Did that actually hit something though? No. There's a few guys up here. Mind as... Oh, hang on, destroy that first. Oh, we're gonna run out of ammo. Run out of ammo. Yeah, still so destroy that anyway. Okay, this guy's got a potion of healing, so he'll be okay to like just get in close. And if I have to use up the potion of healing, that's fine. Should use it every battle anyway, since it costs nothing. I just want to get a bit of visibility in here, so I can use another devolve. Okay, let's use it right there. So 
So it should have a fairly short cooldown, like 30 seconds, because I would have upgraded it. Yeah, 30 seconds. Okay, he's taking damage quickly. Let's get him out of here. I wonder how much health this actually regenerates now. Because they keep changing these fucking things. Before it was like a thousand health. But then it's like they upgraded it to be like really, really a lot better. Uh, well, let's just let's get engage it. I'll use it now. So let's see how much of that it regenerates. Holy shit, that is really fast. That'll like restore an entire fucking health bar. They've, they've definitely upgraded that. Why, do, why does CA do this? I mean, like, I don't have a problem with them adjusting stats, but they adjust it by so fucking much. And, like, they don't let me know, right? Of course they're not going to let me know. So I'm like, play the game in early access. Oh, Alright, so Healing Potion regenerates about a thousand hit points. And then I play the game made two months later, and, and like, I don't really use the Healing Potion. And then people go, like, Legend, weren't using Healing Potions. They, like, regenerate a full health. So it's like, no, they don't. And then I check, it's like, oh, yeah, they fucking do. When the fuck did they change this? And then, of course, you know, two months from now, they'll nerf um, Devolve, and people coming across these videos is the first time across my channel. They'll be like, how come Devolve is so fucking powerful? Whenever I use it, it only does, like, 1% of their health bar. Thanks, EA. Making it so fucking wild with your patches. Can't you just get it right the first time? Or at least get it close the first time. That was just an amazing amount of health. That would have regenerated more than a full bar of health. That's like 5,000 health from this. So yeah, we're just... Um is that wall going to come down? Probably not, since it only does 1% damage per hit. Fucking crossbows. Alright, let's get this guy in. Go fight them. And let's get ready to actually make the attack. Once he's dead. I got centigors, but they're not going to get here in time. Or maybe they will, because they're really fast. Look at that speed, 99. That's actually faster than, than like Goblin Wolf Riders. Actually, you should stay back. What's with these guys saying like really stupid things? Like, we are Sigma's heirs, they are Sigma's phone. Alright, Captain fucking obvious. Alright, now. I think I will overcast it because. Well, I want to do more damage to them, that's why. I think he took some damage on that. Okay, those Outriders are going to do a lot of damage to you. You should probably just bypass... Well, actually, everything's going to do a lot of damage to you. Bonus versus large here, but yeah, take them out. Actually, while this is going on, I should just make the, the attack. Let's go. Oh, what the 
fuck are they doing? Come in here. Go, go, go. Coward. Doesn't matter. He essentially did his worst. God damn, these gore balls are fast. Should have put him there. Would have increased his armor. Armor before. Well, whatever. It's fine. Went rally, you piece of shit. He's got the leadership. Good casualties for a minimum. That's great. I guess those devolves, because there were so many of them there, they were just killing heaps of them. This guy's level 15 now. Yeah, you should be using this. Reduce your cooldown so I can use it more often. What else is there? Look how much it reduces their melee attack and defense by. Oh, then again, that might show its base melee attack and melee defense. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's grab this. Yeah, I'm going to put you in raiding stats. Get over here. And we'll see how we go. I want to keep them together, though. That's a, that's a big must, I feel. So as for the Bray Herds, I send them against enemy armies. Alright, now, so these guys are still coming after us. So I don't want to hang around here for too long. Let's make our way down here. Not gonna catch us. Why are we going around? It's all good. So it's still making money, that's what we need. I mean, we've got 150,000, which is which is heaps, but if we start building all the stuff that we could build, we'll probably use it all up straight away. Alright, moving on to the next turn. So let's see what Hockland does now. Whether they still keep trying to chase after them, or are they going to go home now that they're, uh, their homes are under threat? Yeah, they're coming back. Brayherd destroyed, Brayherd comes back. Okay, you go kill him. You'll lose, but at least you'll weaken him. Oh, you can actually make it all the way over here. Alright, so what are we doing here? Could use the peace uh, the beast path to get through there. I gotta go around. Okay, so his Gorbal has leveled up. What does he need? Definitely get Shadow Hide. That's 
That's really good. This settlement doesn't have um, walls, so that'll be very easy to fight. I will fight it manually though, because like I said, we've got to keep our casualties to an absolute minimum. Neutral tribe discovered. Now, do we really want another uh, herd? Yeah, kind of, because I reckon this one will will have like 58 growth sitting on it. Because generally speaking, these guys have been in stasis for the like the entire campaign. And they just sit there gaining growth. Alright, so... Pick a good spot. It's not the best of terrain. Oh well, we've got artillery, they don't. I don't need to be super efficient on this one. Need to spawn a Saigor. I don't need to, but I want to. So they're just gonna sit there up on the hill. Fuck is this? What the hell was this thing? Pretty fucking big. Was that like a beast dragon or something? I'm not familiar with the water. Or oh, is that a Jabba Slyth? I don't know. Okay, so we want to get rid of their archers, their uh, crossbowmen with the, uh, the centigors, but we have to isolate them from their uh, their other troops. kill him now. You go around here and get the other one. You guys go kill. Okay, should we get one more of these in before before they clash? Maybe I should have overcharged that. Overcasted it, whatever, same thing. Alright, um, okay, you can stop that now. Good. Loss of nine. That's alright. Would have lost a lot more if I had already resolved it. Well, that's a nice piece of armor. Now, I'd give that to Kazrak. But. Oh, he's already got something pretty good. Because Kazrax thing's not very good. Yeah, 
Okay, needs to get this. And that'll help as well from enemy agent actions. Kazrak's nearly level 30. Alright, so these guys here, do they want to confederate with me? So I did, just did positive diplomacy, which means reduced um, bestial rage, which is fine. Okay, so now Kazrak will have to come back up north. Anyway, we've We'll very easily get that mission done and confederate with them, I suppose. And don't forget, confederation, even though it only lasts five turns, we get reduced upkeep for 20, uh, by 20% 20 for five turns. So this guy's level 29. I've, I don't think I've ever had a level 29 hero. I don't even know what to do with this now. They never let me catch them. We could just put them all in here and raid. I mean, they're actually making a lot of hang on. Does that increase or decrease my money? It increases it by about 100. That's about nothing. If I put him on raid, though. Not likely. Send him after this one. If he recruited five more units, he can get himself a Bray Herd, but that's not really my concern. Alright then, let's move on. So what, now they're coming back again? That's right. This guy over here needs to come back. And I believe... A, yeah, the Bray Shaman. He's in level 1. Because he got assassinated straight away. Get him attached to, to someone. Oh, shit. We've got two in him. Alright, no. Go to this guy then. This guy needed one. No, uh, we'll worry about that later. Okay, so what are we doing with this? Doesn't have ghouls just yet, but get it anyway. Oh, he does have to have a couple of ghouls. Yeah, you just keep fighting them until you're dead. I don't give a shit. So where'd that... Oh, there's another one over here. It's all good. Alright, so you're going to be responsible for taking this down as well. By yourself. You should, should be fine. Does this one have walls? Yeah. So of course we need to fight that manually. The thing is, if we went down to that settlement and raided it, we'd make a lot of cash, but I think at this stage in the campaign, we don't really need any more cash. We can now start finishing things off. Anyway, the guys at Marienburg are making plenty. taking on these types of settlements. 
Okay, good. Good that we start off with 20. 21. Whatever, it will be fine. Alright, you're going to be sacrificed because I think we're going to need uh, to encamp at some point just recruit some more. Make sure they're tight over here so this one here doesn't reach them, which is pretty fucking close. So, we need to keep it even tighter. Oh, fuck, I'm just going to have to do them individually right here, I think. Alright, let's do this. Oh, we were, we were fine. Yeah, there's no escaping these two. This guy here's gonna get wrecked, but that's okay. Wasn't what I told you to do, but that's okay. Because that's really high leadership, it's all thanks to the Gore Ball. Okay, one of them's not, not hitting this. If that was not being utilized right now, just hope and destroy it. They'll probably re put someone back up there in a moment. Beastman asses. Bear asses hanging out. I don't think they're wearing like leather pants. No, that's well I guess they are leather. Fucking cows or whatever they are, bulls. They're just gonna beat a cloth over their cocks. Just checking out some beastman ass. He's nearly wiped out, but that leadership, they're just unbreakable now. Like even with fear, it's not it's not going to they're just never going to break. It's all thanks to the gore ball. It's, it's great. Because on legendary difficulty, one of the biggest problems is that your units break so easily. Which is why I usually re resort to not getting into melee right away. Try to uh, deal with, with the skirmish. Alright, let's resume blowing this up. Damage that wall there, actually. Yeah, keep going with that. No, actually, go with something new. New section. That way we'll kill more of them. Alright, now while that's going on, let's get these guys a bit closer.
All that experience really makes a big difference in their reload times. So if you have a look here, this guy's got three experience. His reload time is 11.8 uh, seconds. And this one here's got two experience, 12.4 seconds. So it's, what's that, 0.6 of a second faster? Which may not seem like a lot, but over the course of a sea, just like, I don't know, one or two rocks faster than the rest of them, just for one extra experience. Doesn't matter if they're bombing us. Artillery. Does fuck all damage to heroes. Mortars are really good at getting rid of like big clumps of units. Maybe I should spread them out. Doesn't really matter. Okay, yeah, now get them back. Don't want them getting shot. Okay, that's nearly destroyed. Let's aim for another section. Ah, oh, damn it. Because now they're going to get off the wall. Possibly. They might be able to hit... No, no, no. I better hit this. Yeah, they're going to keep guys up there. Alright, good. So once again, I'm going to send the Gorbal in, because he's got this potion of healing. This time, I'm going to wait till he's, like, down to here before I regenerate his health. Plus 20% missile resistance. So that should be doing well for him. But this guy doesn't have that, so he needs to get out of their, their angle. Also, yeah, it's very good if they're bowing him, because those shots are going to hit him as well. There's no really good spots to do devolve right here. I, mean, I can hit them there, it's alright. Or over here, that might even be better. But that would require him to get in quite close. There. I might be able to do this just with the ghoul ball. And of course him. Oh, I didn't hit any of these guys. It's alright. Okay, you come in here as well. Don't let these guys touch the Bray Shaman. Should hit it this time. Yes, very good. So that's one, two, three, four, five divisions hit. I don't really count this one because it doesn't do damage to artillery very much. Okay, he's getting he's getting shot. It'll be good once we give him some additional, um, you know, combat abilities as well, like a 30% extra of health. I don't know if he really needs more armor. 
Tend to be fighting armor piercing things. Maybe more melee defense would help. So yeah, it should regenerate his health completely if I use that um, that potion. Ah, not close enough. Oh, we got plenty of magic. Just use it on them because they're annoying me. Time to send everyone in. See if he regenerates to full health. So the battle's probably just about over. And get one more magic shot in over here, that would be probably finish them off. What are you doing? Get in here. Yeah, he regenerated to full. But now I don't have any more health potions, so get out of there. Oh. He's kinda of stuck. Alright, I might need to overcharge this just to finish it off. So that Gorbul got 141 kills, which is pretty good, considering it, it didn't really, wasn't being used really that effectively because they work effectively with, with other guys giving them support because they're very easy to surround. If they're not being surrounded, they'll do more damage, they'll do more damage and they'll take less damage. To do so, we've already got slug skin. Yeah, grab that extra extra melee attack for for gores for gore herd. Wait, hang on a second. It says for gore herd, but is that for um, gore herd with shields as well? well? Let me just check. So melee attack fifty eight. Yeah, yeah, good. Because that would have been silly if I was upgrading it for units that I wasn't getting. Because they're, they're, they're considered gore herd, they're just... Same unit, just they've got shields. Alright, let's see. What can we build for you? Just got to get loads, loads of growth in coming from that. But if I make him raid, we lose a bit of money. So if I just put him here... That way he can get experience, because that's what he needs. If these guys here want to fight us, that's fine. Why haven't you beaten them yet? Got a few guys coming in here, but I'm not really too cons... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we should kick their ass. It's just a matter of how many casualties we're going to take in as well. We'll be fine. Moving on. So they're not even coming after us anyway.
Alright, let's check this guy again. Alright, not good. So we're considered strength ranking number one again. That's good. Wait, is that the first time we've achieved that or not? Alright, now we could attack this right now. They do have walls. We've got to be careful about that. Um, considering our units are a little bit damaged, we should probably encamp and just train some new gore herds. Okay, yeah, because we'll also replenish units. So, come to here. Let's merge these two. And then recruit another one. Could probably merge a couple more of them, but they're they're not really that bad at damage, and this isn't gonna be that hard. Okay, it'll be a while before he gets another Bray Herd. Same with him. Faction minus what? Oh, right, because of that. That's okay. Let's have a look at his his uh, traits. He doesn't have as many traits as the um, uh, as uh, Malagor. Then again, I don't think he's fought as many battles. Malagor's really kicked some ass in this. All right. So looking at Hockland, they had twelve regions to begin with, so we've destroyed three so far. Edendorf. We can probably just order resolve at this time because now we can replenish. Definitely lost a lot more men than I would have if I had uh, manually resolved it. So now they respect me, but will they join me? Alright. How about military alliance? Will you pay me for it? Just out of curiosity, if I go join Confederation, because it seems like paying them makes a big difference. If I just pay them like a little bit, how much do I have to pay them? Yeah, not paying them that much. Right, so he's reached level 30 now. What was I going to do? He gets one point into something. I don't want Razor Gore Chariot. So, 2 melee attack, 2 melee defense, 3 armor. Let's see. Extra missile resistance. See, that would have been really useful, but we focused on other things. I'm going to go with Shadow Hide. That'll reduce his missile resistance, uh, we'll increase it by 10%. Okay, so what's this? All oh, right, Two separate things. Well, it doesn't matter, it'll only last 10 turns, and I don't really care much about Bray Herds anyway. Okay, so coming over here, you... Go and kill this guy. So he's recruiting. How do they even have any money? I should be draining them completely because of this. So I need to attach him to an army. Is he only level 1? Nah, that's crap. He's never gonna get to level 18 in this campaign. We're almost done. Okay, let's move on to the next turn. Doesn't bother me that another Brayhood's dead. 
throwaway armies. Okay, so... One more turn until the Dark Moon. Yeah, we'll definitely fight this battle on this turn, but I'm not going to do it on this episode, because I've only got 10 minutes till, um, an hour's up, and if I fought that battle, it'll probably take me about 20 minutes. There's no way I'd be able to auto-resolve that. And we've got this one over here as well. That one would be easier. Why would we do that in 10 minutes? Because there's no walls. But what if you came over here and just raided? Now, like I said, we, we've got enough money. Let's just go end them. Could auto-resolve it, but that would, um, I think, yield a bad result. It's funny how virtually nobody had any problems with um, me putting this mod on. It just, it just goes to show you that this, is, this mod is what the game should be like in regard to auto-resolve. Like, that should just be the norm right now. With a few adjustments, I think it needs to have a little bit more of a randomizing factor in it. Because the thing is, like, historically speaking, the strongest army did not always win. And so, a lot of factors need to be placed into it. Ah, crap. It's one of these types. It's alright, I can deal with it. It's just that, um, he doesn't have... Reload time 15 seconds. It's got to be bugged. It's actually re it's actually reduced missile damage. That fu man, why don't CA ever ever patch these things? I mean, not patch it. Why don't they ever test these things before they go out? It's like it says it reduces the reload time. It actually increases it. They just don't test this shit. It's just it, it feels like this DLC was just rushed out the door. Not in regard to graphics, like, like, like they finished the graphics and they didn't wait for um, any anyone on their team to be like, you know, there's a, a lot of uh, functionality issues with this uh, pack at the moment, like for example, um, Mage Hunter ability actually does the opposite of what it says it's supposed to do. Um, uh, what's it called? Some of, the, uh, some of the abilities seem a little bit overpowered. Maybe we should, maybe we should, uh, actually tweak this a bit. Nah, it's alright. We'll wait until people complain about it before we actually make any adjustments. That's fine, but the thing is, though, this is a, this is a really annoying thing. Um, you only get so many skill points. And if I had known that that was actually going to weaken them, I wouldn't have wasted three points into them. I can't undo that. give a warning saying, warning, the description of this uh, ability is actually wrong. Actually funny, a long long time ago I actually applied to be in the Q&A, uh, QA team. Long before I was actually a YouTuber I applied to like, um, to test their games and I said, you know, look at all the shit that I found in the past. And I didn't get a response from them. Probably because I didn't live in the UK, actually. And I don't have a degree in that bloody stuff. But seriously, why do you need a degree to play video games? In a certain way. Like, I've, I've literally been doing this my entire life. Like, if it's one thing I've learnt from going to university, is that I didn't need to go to university. Like, everything that I learned at university, I could have learnt on my own. And the actual certificate is worthless. Two degrees, by the way. That's because I did an arts degree. Well, arts slash computing based, film based stuff. It was a bit vague. I specialised near the end of it. it didn't, didn't pan out.
funny though, it's actually kind of ironic because I went and did a film degree with obviously cinematics and then I play these games and I'm like, I don't give a fuck about cinematics. It's because, you know, if I, if, I give, if I go to see a movie, yeah, I care about cinematics. But when I'm playing a game, I want good gameplay. Films and, and uh, games have always been my two passions in life. And killing people. Well, in video games. Probably actually better if this guy gets wrecked because I can recruit them with more experience now, I think. See, they're firing really slowly. Look, this guy here has got more more missile damage than them, despite the fact that he's got four experience. Like, he needed all that experience. I think it's actually, like, it's max, like, you can't have a reload time higher than 15. Like, yeah, it gave me some extra ammunition, which is good in a siege and everything. Like, so they will end up doing more damage with it than without it, but still, I have to wait longer now. Now, if this was a field battle, you'd want them to shoot their ammunition as quickly as possible, because the, the you know, the army's coming at you, you want to shoot those fucking rocks. Because, you know, in a field battle, you end up with, like, you only end up shooting, like, five rocks before the, the melee begins. So having 20% extra ammunition is kind of worthless in that situation. In addition to that though, the faster they can shoot, obviously the less these guys are going to wipe out my units because we kill it faster. But that's alright. I'm sure they'll patch that eventually, it's just... I'm always testing their games for them. I, like I said, I don't have a problem with that. But I feel like maybe they should give me earlier access for beta testing. Like, because the thing is, the way it works is like, they give me the, the, uh, the game, and an embargo, and like, everyone knows this shit. There's an embargo on it. The embargo lasts for a certain date, so I get to play it for like, six, seven, twelve days or whatever, before I'm allowed to release any videos on it. So if they simply gave it to me maybe a month earlier, and be like, hey, could you help us test this? I'd be more than happy to do it. I'd, I'd do it for free. Be like, just play it, and let us know the bugs. Absolutely fine with that. I think that's what a lot of people have, have offered to do for Creative Fantasy Assembly, but like I said, I've said this many times, they've got people that will happily do, do this stuff for free for them. They'll go through the game with a fine tooth comb and find any bugs and report it to them. But for some reason, they just don't want free help. I don't know why. The thing is, in the Total War community, you have the best of people, and also the worst of them. Like, you have the biggest whingers in the Total War community. But you've also got, you know, the modding community. The, the modders are just the best people. They'll happily, you know, put in a hundred hours worth of work just because they love the series. It was also like when 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 they actually invited me there and they had that um, that session with the developers, which I was kind of like I was grateful to be there, but then afterwards it's just like it's like they didn't listen at all. It's like why? Like I'm grateful for them inviting me there, but like if they weren't going to listen to me, then why even bother having that meet meeting? Like I warned them about the order results. I said you've got to fix this. Like people have been complaining and laughing about this for bloody years. Oh no, we feel like it's all right. Probably not going to get invited back now because of that. I will see. It shouldn't be so negative.
Oh, the slaughter. It just wipes them all out. Look how bloody it is as well. I don't understand how some people can't stand the sight of blood. Like, you're literally made of, like, fucking blood. Like, it's in you. It's like, do you look at your own dick and be like, oh, yuck. God, some people are so squeamish. See, look at this. He's used up more of his ammunition than them. And he doesn't... Oh, then he doesn't have as much ammo. But still. Oh, shit. I've already gone over an hour. Maybe because I'm blabbering too much. Uh, do you... You don't have that, um... That potion of healing, so I can't just send you in there. Just be careful not to send them too close to those towers. I don't know why some people have such a problem with, like, avoiding towers. Like, it's it's literally what you do in any Total War game that has towers. It's like, oh look, there's towers there, I'll just, I'll just pretend they're not. No, you avoid the fucking towers because it's, they, they shoot you men. Go, go where... It, Attack where they're softest. Makes fucking sense. I know. I know. I know the majority of people understand that, but I don't understand the minority of people who are allowed how they can justify the bullshit accusations of, oh, you're cheesing by, uh, you know, putting all your soldiers on one side of the, uh, of the city. Really, it seems like tactics to me. Alright, in we go. You're coming in as well. I haven't used this yet because I haven't got good visibility. Oh, god damn it, this is really annoying when this happens. You make an attack and then they stop seeing the unit and then they just... They just stop. Fuck's sake. Alright, now we got good visibility. Need just a handful of you to come over here and help us with these. before they get away. I feel like the battle's almost over. You get over here, you slow bastard. Generally speaking, I, I don't really use cavalry much in these siege battles. Cavalry's for field battles. Alright then. 
let's overcharge this one. Oh, there was no need. They just all broke. Anyway, I don't think he uh, miscast it anyway, so that's good. Alright, awesome. Well, we're over an hour, so we'll end the episode here, guys. So like and subscribe, part 18, I think, is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.